This is an instructional video on how to use a Bic Gardner number two Zahn viscosity cup. First, immerse the cup and thermometer in a sample container and stir the sample well to ensure uniform temperature and density. Allow the cup to remain in the fluid for at least five minutes to allow the cup temperature to stabilize. And record the temperature. Uh, for this video, we have already done that. We record the temperature. It is at 25 degrees centigrade. As, and now it's time to measure the efflux time with the Zahn cup. Lift the cup out of the container, allowing the cup to hang vertically from your finger by means of the ring. Okay, first you want to go right below the surface, and you need to have a timer ready. So, right above in a, in a steady motion, pick it straight up no more than six inches above the cup. So now you wait for the cup to empty while recording the time the whole time. And you need to stop the stopwatch at the first sign of a break in the stream. Okay. <clears throat> the efflux time or time for the cup to empty constitutes its viscosity. Record the cup number, temperature, and time in seconds that it took for the cup to empty and refer to your chart or formulas to figure out the density. And the temperature is very important, so don't forget that step. And that is all.